Welcome. I'm going to show you how to use different kind of ground attack weapons in Vitor VR. Alpha so one, one. we're going to start. Shut up. We're going to start with uh, the direct attack. Obviously, there's like the Vulcan cannon. It's just a minigun based on the left side of your gun, uh, of your uh, jet. Um, then another unguided uh, attack option is the hydro rocket. When setting them up on uh, equip and then uh, make sure this is on config and then choosing them. Uh, salvo 1 means uh, firing only one side. So I've got two got uh, one pod there and one rocket pod there. So if I'm gonna select the high res, I fire with salvo 1. See only one side fires. So if I set it to 2, both sides will fire. You can set it, I only have 2 so it only shows 2, but if you have like 6 pods you can select all 6. Then the ripple mode means how many missiles per minute will get shot. So rate of fire. So you see 400. It's already quite fast, but if you set it to the maximum, you're gonna run out of rockets in, uh, instantly. I usually run with 400 and salvo 1. And uh, for aiming, if like the small shit, if that isn't uh, good enough for you, <laughs> not precise enough, you can go on the TGP and then set the mode to pip, and will then. Um, show where your uh, gun is gonna impact. Works for bombs, works for everything. See, the bomb would be impacting there. Yeah, so set that uh, to pip for a better aiming. Then uh, we go on with the unguided bombs. So these bombs are uh, just basically just <laughs> dropping to the ground. <laughs> There are two types, uh, the MK-82, which is for low altitude bombing, and the MK-82 for high altitude, like we are not right now. So there are some setup options. So Salvo is like the rocket pods, if you have multiple bomb uh, places, you can turn, turn it uh, higher and it will drop multiple bombs at the same time. Then there's uh, CCRP, which stands for Continuous Calculated Release Point, I think. Um, if you turn that on, you can select a target with your TGP. And then you will get a guidance line. And um, you will always get the guidance line, not no matter if you have it on, on or off. So I'm going to turn around very quick. Okay. So we're now getting closer towards the thing, uh, towards the target. Now you see this, um, this guidance. The, the dotted line is like the the guide. So you line up these two. And then, if I would now press fire, it would drop a bomb. If you set this to on, you can hold the button. Why is it releasing? <laughs> oh, I set it up for the wrong... Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. So we're gonna select our target with the TGP. So, and now we select the uh, bombs. Uh, that's one too far, it doesn't matter. Uh, we did it like this. So we turn that on auto. And ripple, we're gonna do 120. So ripple is the same as with hydras. So I would hold it now, it would release uh, two bombs per second. Um, so yeah. We selected the target and now this dotted line appeared. If I unselect the target, the uh, line disappears. So we unselect the target again. And then we line up these. Like this. And if I now press the button with this turn to off, it will drop a bomb. It dropped on. So if I turn it on... Um, there will... I can hold the trigger now. I will not drop a bomb. Uh, there's gonna appear a small diamond circle soon. 
there it is and it will release the bomb automatically because I uh, the CCRP auto is on on so the first bomb is gonna impact somewhere else maybe it did already but the second bomb should hit the target now okay we we missed the target <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah bombs bom um, um, unguided bombs are not the best for precision shooting you can use them on like when there are a lot of enemies but single targets well <laughs> gotta be precise more precise than I was yeah there's one special type uh, of bombs which is the CB97 this one uh, it's a cluster bomb so uh, it's not exploding on the target, it's exploding in the air and then deploying multiple sub munitions, 40 on this bomb, which will then um, do even more destruction. So, same settings as with the other bomb. Now you see the bomb dropping and it will explode somewhere in the air and then deploy the sub munitions and then destroy all the targets. They deployed the uh, munitions. Okay, the cams are working. There you see all, all the ammunition dropping. I won't hit <laughs> the wrong target. Yeah. Not very effective as you see, but uh, I feel like, so like uh, a lot of infantry it will work way better than against armor targets. So yeah, that's that bomb. Okay, so those were the uh, unguided bombs. There's another type of bombs, uh, GPS guided and laser guided. I'm gonna do G uh, laser guided first. So these are usually the GPO-12, this one. Um, the good thing of these is these are really precise. So you can uh, select target, then this ring will occur. Also set up for the uh, GBO-12, set this to laser. If you set it to dumb, it drops like a normal bump. You don't want that, we want laser for precision. And we wait till this, uh, uh, what's it called, square. The square is in the middle of the inner circle. And then we just keep the laser focused. Uh, you can still change, I, I dropped it there, right? So you can still change into that one and uh, the target will still well, the, the the bomb will uh, re. Fuck, what's it called? It will change the target during its flight. So we're gonna wait a bit. There, impact. Target destroyed. Okay, so these are uh, very good for single targets. But uh, as you just saw, there we have like four targets, but I was only able to fire the bomb at uh, one target. Because I have to uh, have the laser focused, I can only like destroy one target for each flyby. Also, um, yeah, once you're like out of the, the TGP part uh, zone, limit, limit zone, or uh, something like a hill comes. Uh, it's terrible, because, well, you can't guide the missile any longer. Uh, but a good thing with these bombs is that uh, moving targets will still get hit, while with GPS uh, bombs, like the GBU-39 and the GBU... What's it called? 83 with uh, GPS. There's a GPS version. These will only hit um, stationary targets, so if like you set a GPS point on the tank and the tank moves away, the GPS point will still be the same. So the bombs will impact on the GPS point and not on the tank. While the GPO-12 will follow your laser designator and therefore will even hit moving targets. Alright, like I just said, we're gonna do no GPS bombs. We're gonna use the GBU... 93 target mode uh, should be set to uh, auto and the auto release rate doesn't really matter 120 whatever so now we open the GPS screen 
and a T2P screen. Now we're gonna do search for our targets. And then we do GPS send. Then you will get a GPS target in your GPS list. I'm gonna get all four target coordinates like this. And then we select the GPU 39 there. And then just like the GPU 12, put that shapes that appear into the inner circle like this. Also make sure that when dropping bombs, you always have positive G. And then hold the trigger, and we'll uh, like see, it goes through the targets. If you have that on manual, it will stay on the same target. And you have to change it manually. Um, yeah, make sure you always have positive cheese when dropping bombs. If you have negative ones, the bombs gonna drop and then fly into you and killing you. <laughs> so yeah. Can now um, I don't know if it's on this bomb too. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can track the uh, bombs actually and see when they're impacting bam 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 all targets destroyed oh i think one uh, i misplaced the gps marker as you can see it's a bit off so one is still alive i guess yeah okay i missed one probably because the gps mark was a bit off you can check yeah, it was a bit off. It was a bit too much to the right. The GPS, uh, GBU 39 are o uh, only small diameter diameter bombs, so they will only destroy weak targets. Uh, for example, bunkers, bunkers can't be destroyed by these. You have to add uh, bigger bombs like the GBU 12 or the uh, God, these names, uh, the MK 82 unguided bombs. Yeah. Uh, right, these are the uh, GBU 38. These are like the. These are the uh, bigger bombs. Where is it? Should be there. Yeah, these are the, the heavy bombs, but also with GPS. GPS. So you can use them the same. But they will do more damage. But they also weigh more and are more expensive. So yeah. My favorite one are the 39s. You can place uh, like your whole bottom full. If it's like 16 bombs of these, you can bump any tens or whatever the mission wants. Yeah. That's it for GPS bombs. Alright, now we're gonna do the missiles. So, there are also different types of missiles. There's, for example, the laser guided missile. There's one GPS guided cruise missile, and there's uh, ARAD missiles. I'm gonna explain them later. We're gonna do the uh, THP laser guided first. So we're gonna get the target again. Then we select the first one. It's gonna be the GBU. This one, uh, sorry, AGM 65. Fine, forget. So. See the optical comes of the TGP and FF means fire and forget. So you fire it and then you can uh, turn the GP, TGP away, it doesn't matter. It basically remembers where it has to go. So just gonna get a lock. Also, set them to manual so you will have like a larger lock on radius as you see. For then firing, you just hold the trigger and then press the weapon change button. And then, like I said, you can now. Aim for the next target, fire another one, another one, and so on. And uh, it was still hit, as you can see. Target destroyed. So, manual. Then, uh, these are um, optical TGP guided, but they're also A red signs, uh, A, A red rockets, like the AGM 88 and the AGM 126. So the main difference between these two is like the, the range and destruction power. The AGM-126 is uh, a smaller or more compact missile, but it's may, may way more uh, maneuverable than the bigger one. So you can also see like this attack target. And if I choose the AGM-88, it's only has like, the smaller attack range. So with these, you, you have to go on the ARAD screen to fire these. Then uh, make it a screen of interest. Select the target, 
and move towards it. Make sure um, it is inside the the deployment bar and then just fire. So how area missile works is um, whenever you turn on your radar basically you fire radar waves and these bounce back and you receive them and then you know where the enemy is. So AGM missiles use that these radar waves to detect where the enemy is. So the radar down there is firing radar waves all around it and then we receive them and detect them. So we know the radar waves are coming from that way. So the missile is basically doing the same. Uh, no, we destroyed it. So the, the, the radar waves fire and the missile detects these and knows where the source of these is from the direction they are coming. And then it basically just flies towards it. If that station would turn off its radar, the missile wouldn't be able to track it anymore. So, but these are stationary, so that won't help them, but uh, like a moving target would survive them if they would uh, turn off the radar and know that a uh, red missile is coming towards them. Yeah, like uh, like I said, the AGM-126 counterpart is basically just a bit more maneuverable, but has a low range, as you can see. Not sure if I can hit that one. It's a bit far away. Yeah, that's it for uh, a red missiles. There's also one missile that's special, just like the cluster bomb. There's a, cl a cluster missile, also set to, to uh, manual for a bigger lock-on range. It's a CAC M6. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. So you select the enemy, just like the AGM 65s, and then um, you lock on and just fire it like a normal missile. But the difference, I'm gonna show you again, the different thing with that one is um, it would deploy uh, also sub munitions like the, the cluster bomb and these will each track their own targets so you have like six six uh, missiles inside one so we'll see the missile goes towards the four and then deploys its sub ammunition There it goes. And these six missiles will now each hit their own target. As you can see, all four destroyed. And there we go, all four down with a single one. So yeah, that's a cluster missile. Then we have, uh, like I said, a specific missile. That is the cruise missile. So if you have a target that's really far away, way out of your range, you can use the AGM-161 anti-surface standoff missile. So these use, um, let me select it, yeah, GPS cruise. So you can select your target, not like TGP or something like that. You have to go on enough map or you can do it with TGP, but Use an off map and then make like a route for the missile to travel. Okay, yeah, that <laughs> that was uh, too steep. We're gonna take a different target now to see better. So the target over there was stationary too, right? The that one back there. So we can use the TGP. Get um, a lock. On that one, so it's somewhere there. You can actually use the nav map to do <laughs> things like that. So it's gonna be here. You can see on the on the nav map, you can see like structures and shit. So we're gonna hit there, right? So we're gonna make a path to follow our missile like this, and then hit the target right here. So we're gonna go to GPS, make it a path, and then we can select the missile. The GPS cruise missile and fire it. Now we can even follow it on the GPS screen. Like the GPS bombs. 
it will now uh, follow that route until it hits the target. If you're bored, you can even fly with the missile. Um, we have to slow a bit down so it gets in front of us. And then it will show up on your radar screen. So it's a bit below us somewhere. There it is. You can select it, get a radar lock. Now you can fly with your missile. See, it's uh, first waypoint, and now it moves towards the next waypoint. So we are getting close to the target now. And as you see, it hit it. Okay, so I loaded another mission. And we have now the AGM-89, like oops, the last uh, missile. So these, that one has like four modes. There's direct mode. This works basically like the AGM-65s. You do like um, a GPS coordinate and we'll fly towards it without any evasion strategy, just like a normal missile towards it. Then there is sea skim. Sea skim is gonna travel a few meters above the sea, so it won't uh, get detected by radar from the ship's radar. That was a warning. Okay. Then we have SS evasive, which stands for uh, sea skim evasive. So it's the same as sea skim, but before it hits the the ship, it will start flying like this. So the um, the anti-aircraft guns on the ship that are trying to shoot a missile uh, don't hit the target because like the CIWS and the um, any any gun on the ground that uh, shoots towards you if you like if there's a plane right and you shoot right onto it until the bullets are where the plane is right now uh, the plane will no longer be there so you have to aim it adv uh, in advance so they get like a radar lock and then get your distance and your speed and then they will calculate your where you will be once the bullets are there so you will basically meet but if you like if you fly like this and uh, they calculate it you will be there in, f in two seconds and then you fly like this the the point where you will be will always change and so the bullets will not hit you yeah, so it will do evasive and tries to um, confuse the enemy CIWS. Then there's a uh, pop-up, which is basically the same as evasive, but uh, before, so when the, if this is a ship, so SS evasive will just like wiggle around and then hit the side of the ship. The side is usually very well armored, so it may be not be, uh, destroying the ship. So pop-up will do like wiggling and then in front of the ship it will actually go up and try to hit uh, from the top. So it will do more damage. Uh, but when doing this up motion the CRWS has uh, easier time to shoot it down. So we're gonna use just uh, SS evasive mode. And uh, ships are over there, I'm gonna get in the air real quick. Okay, I'm on the catapult now. So we can actually cheat a bit because, uh, the, as you see, the ships are not detected yet. Or actually they are, I'm not sure. Okay, they are. Anyways, if not, you can sometimes use the objective and then get a waypoint on where the enemy is. So ships are there. So our missile shall travel like this, then this, then towards the ships. You don't have to um, put the final GPS mark on the ships because these uh, these cruise missiles have a built-in radar. So they will um, fly towards there and on the second last checkpoint they will turn on the radar and scan for any en enemy. So they will fly like this. Then turn towards this point and turn on their radar. Then they will get a lock on the ship and then fly towards the ship into the hull. So, um, also you can now see in range and point, but this means it will only fly towards that point and then 
explode. We have to turn on the path again, so it will follow that route here. So, actually says in range already, so we could even, I think we could even start it from the carrier. But I don't think the like initial speed is going to be enough then. So we will, oops, we will give it a bit of uh, starting speed with our chat. So, like the cruise missile, just aim for the GPS point and then fire it. So there it acquired the target and this is the evasive mood I said and impact. Okay, uh, as you see, I'm a bit fucked now. <laughs> My uh, both engines are dead, so... <laughs> well, yeah, that's it with this tutorial. I made a whole list of tips and tricks for v VR, so if you're a newbie, you can watch them too. Um, yeah, subscribe to stay tuned for more, and see you around. Goodbye.